to click academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of x squared plus 2 equals 27 to the power of x. And what we're first going to do is we want to make our bases the same because whenever we're solving for exponential equations, we always want to make our bases the same to make the equation easier to solve. So as you can see right now, our bases are 3 and 27, which aren't the same. So we're going to convert 27 to make it equal 3. And 3 to the power of what equals 27? 3, right? 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. So we're going to change this to 3 to the power of x squared plus 2 equals 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. All we did was we simply replaced the 27 with 3 to the power of 3. Now remember, an important property of exponents is that if you have a to the power of b to the power of c, this is equal to a to the power of b times c. So these two exponents multiply. So over here, we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 3 times x, which is just 3x. And this is still equal to 3 to the power of x squared plus 2. Now remember, if you have the same bases now that we do, we can simply ignore the bases and make the two exponents equal to each other because if the two bases are the same, then so do the exponents, right? Because or else this equation wouldn't be true. So now we have our equation x squared plus 2 is equal to 3 times x is 3x. Now I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. So now we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to factor this equation. So we're going to multiply these two, a and c, and we have b here. So a, a is 1, so 1 times c is 2. So our product, p, is 2, and our sum is negative 3. So we have to figure out what two numbers multiply to get 2 and add up to get negative 3. So those two numbers are actually negative 2 and negative 1. Because as you can see, if you add these two, they get negative 3. And if you multiply these two, they get 2. So now our equation is going to be x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0 and this is going to turn into x times x minus 2 minus 1 times x minus 2. Now this is the same thing as x minus 1 times x minus 2. And this is equal to 0. And our two solutions are 1 and 2. 
because if you plug in one, it makes the whole equation equal zero and same goes for two. So our answers are one and two and now we could plug these in to the our original equation and see if they work. So let's plug in let's plug in one first. So we're gonna have three to the power of one squared is one plus two equals twenty seven to the power of one. Now one plus two is three, so we have three to the power of three equals 27 because 27 to the power of 1 is 27 and 3 to the power of 3 is 27 so we have 27 equals 27 so this is right so we know that 1 is right now let's test out 2 so we have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is 4 plus 2 and this equals 27 to the power of two. Now this is three to the power of six equals, we can actually change 27 into three to the power of three. We really don't have to use a calculator to the power of two and these two multiply. So we get three to the power of six equals three times two is six. So three to the power of six. So this is right as well. Guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. And we want to find out what this equals. So first off, we're going to change 2 to the power of 20 to 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Remember, when we have something like this, we simply multiply these two exponents, right? So we're simply reversing that. And this is just to make it a little simpler. And we're going to subtract this with, we're going to change 9 to 3 squared. And remember, if we have a squared minus b squared, right? If we have this, this is actually equal to a plus b in parentheses times a minus b. So a in this case would be 2 to the power of 10 and b would be 3. So a is 2 to the power of 10 and b is 3. So now if we plug in a and b in this expression, we would get 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 in parentheses times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now 2 to the power of 10 is 1024 and we still have our plus 3 And now we have 1024 minus 3. Now 1024 plus 3 is 1027. And 1024 minus 3 is 1021. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 1027 as 1000 plus 27 
times 1,000 plus 21. Now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute. So we're going to do 1,000 times 1,000, 1,000 times 21, 27 times 1,000, and 27 times 21. Now 1,000 times 1,000 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. zero zero plus we have 21 with three zeros plus we have 27,000 plus 567 so this is equal to one zero 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 plus 48 thousand plus 567 and now this is equal to 1 million 567. So this is our answer.